I'm Jared Dienda. This is Snap On Tools Great Garages. We're here to check out a shop in Austin, Texas that builds some of the fastest Dodge Vipers in the world, of course, utilizing Snap On Tools. This is Calvo Motorsports. Antonio, what's up, man? How's it going? Thanks for having us here. My Break pleasure. it down. You are Antonio Calvo. But what is Calvo Motorsports? Our specialty here is we uh, turbo Vipers, yeah. Gen 4, Gen 5, which slowly transferring to uh, the McLaren market. We have one right over here. Yeah. We're doing a full MoTeC built engine. Should be a pretty nasty car when it's done. Walk us through how many employees, how long have you been around? I'm on year seven, seven employees plus me. Seven years, but you've really made a lot of noise, literally and figuratively, I, just out of the gate. We've built like well over a hundred and something Vipers in the, in the last three years, I'm gonna say. Your clientele, they demand a particular product. I mean, 2000 horsepower, these machines, how critical is it to just we're, have the right tools? We're, you know? up, we're up to 2800 on the Vipers. 2800, holy cow, sorry. No, we're up to 2800 like, wheel. You're like, Real horsepower on the Vipers, yeah. <laughs> Humble brag, 2800 horsepower. <laughs> your customer drops off your car when they see Snap-on. Do you feel that's a vote of confidence? It, it actually does really help with shop presence. Yeah. You know, behind that that glass over there, that's <laughs> that's a sea. It's it, it's the snake pit. It's an army. It's, it's an pit, army dude. of of exactly of Vipers over there. Right, let's go and check out the sure. shop. Meet some of your technicians. Awesome. Antonio, we are, I mean, look at, this is like the colors of the rainbow back here, man. But let's talk about this car in particular. It's got the famous livery there, the 01, but that was the car that kind of started it all for you. Pretty much all of our packages have been um, R&D'd on this car. Still holds a Gen 5 half mile world record at 225 miles an hour. I always did a lot with what the car had. Yeah. Um, you know, it was a basic piston rod motor with like a set of heads off like a heading cam package and yeah. it made 2,500 wheel. It's been a good, tool for learning, it's helped yeah. other companies, and it's helped us kind of grow into what we have today. There's so many different vehicles here. That one looks menacing. We'll get to that car in a little bit because it looks it looks menacing just standing <laughs> still. But also, I know you got your white Snap-on box, but I'm noticing this blue one. Who owns that? Omar. One Omar. Text here, cool, yeah. yeah. Can we catch up with Omar? Yeah, definitely. Right, let's catch up. Omar, how's it going, man? I'm doing good, how are you doing? Yeah, good. You've only been here for how long? About a month. About a month? About a month and a half, yeah. But your your knowledge runs deep, especially in, on the Chrysler Dodge product. Yes, it does. Okay. And what do you do here? Whatever they need, you know, we remove an engine, car comes in, I'll, we'll take it out, disassemble it. And you really like the power tools, you like the, the cordless? Well, yeah, that's where everything is going now. Yeah. You know, everything is going in cordless. It's convenient, it's faster actually, you know, if there's no air. Talk about Snap-on franchisee, has a franchisee, you know, truck coming by. Has he ever saved you in a pinch? Like a, a particular tool that you might need? Oh, yeah, because, yeah. I mean, the different generations of Vipers might need something specific or something like that. Yeah, with any vehicle, you know, if, if I'm working on something and I don't have that tool, you know, yeah. and I know they're coming, Snap-on, you can depend on Snap-on all the time. Other tool trucks, you know, eh, they're a hit and miss. Yeah. Snap-on, it's never. It's always, they're always here. It's yeah. a wrap. And they're everywhere. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right on. Thanks, man. Right, Appreciate no your problem. time. And here it is, this thing is stealthy. You're saying this is a factory color, by the way, out of the box, but what have you done to this? How much horsepower, that's what everybody wants to know. So uh, this car is actually one of 50 built in this color. It's, it's a pretty rare car. It's a yeah. fully optioned out GTS. They call it carbon anodized. It's a, it's a really badass color. Started off as a bolt-on turbo kit, and then the owner just kept going. <laughs> I mean, he went like 215 in Colorado, wow. uh, and he just started winning all these events, and. Every time the car goes there, it comes back and he's like, more stuff, more stuff. And finally, <laughs> this last event, we, uh, we stepped them up to an air to water, twin 76, 42R precision turbos. We gave it a little bit of dope, but yeah, this car also has a, a PPG air shifted sequential, MoTeC. The car wound up putting down close to 2,400 wheel. Ooh. Ran it at a FL2K and it wound up being the second fastest car there. Placed second in, in a sea of like Lamborghinis and, and GTR. So yeah. we were super impressed with the car. First time out with the new setup. When we made the first hit on full kill, it clicked off 198 miles an hour and 1,000 feet. Um, it's one of the baddest cars we built. Uh, yeah. Between this, there's one other car that's made more power than all of them. Um, and then the General, uh, it, they're just, kind of, I think, three of the fastest uh, Gen 5s around. I mean, this thing, it, it looks mean standing still, 2,400 horsepower, and just the progression of the Viper as it stands, right, from your old General to this. Have you, have you seen an evolution of, oh, of the man. Vipers? Yeah, it's it's amazing for what, what we did with that car to what the engines, the electronics, the MoTeC, the firmware, it's, I mean, it's it's really incredible what we've done in a matter of like four years. Seen a few Snap-on boxes over here. I see a bright lime green one over there. Who owns that box? That's Tim's. Okay, can we uh, yeah, wrap let's out go, with Tim? Let's go talk to Tim. 
Tim, how's it going, man? How you doing? Yeah, good. Uh, thanks for having us. How long have you worked here? Uh, just a little over five years now. Okay, and, and your background is? I was a dealership tech for a little over 10 years. Okay, and yeah. And uh, yeah, I made the switch to the uh, high performance automotive. You've progressed as a technician, you know, going from the dealership environment to now these, you know, 2,800 horsepower, 2,000 plus horsepower vehicles. So top to bottom, you're doing everything on these vehicles? The area of expertise is engine building, engine R&R, &R, transmission R&R, &R, drivetrain, uh, stuff so like that. It, stuff. Yeah, it, basically, it, yeah. Again, um, getting that foundation of the dealership. When you're building these vehicles, what tool do you most commonly find in your hand, or one of your favorite tools? I have a 3 8 torque wrench yeah. with, with angle. Everything's really precise. Uh, everything's got to be very accurate. Yep. So That's the torque spec, so you're getting it, setting it, and making sure that everything is, is dialed in just perfectly. Yep. There's even uh, some fasteners for torque plus angle, um, and this is able to do that, and not many torque wrenches can. So, yeah. um, Look at you, been, you're, like, you're like a regular snap-on <laughs> spokesperson. You know, all, but that's part of being a technician and making sure that you know these aren't cheap cars. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, it's really critical. A lot of, a lot of critical fasteners, and uh, so I chose snap-on and never cool. looked back or right anything else. Well, I'll let you get back to work, man. All right, I appreciate thank it. Thank you so thank much. You. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Love that Benny falls all around, right? That's, <laughs> yeah, yeah I going. get up, he goes, so. That's awesome. Let's talk about your fabrication side, because you fabricate a lot of your parts. I'm seeing titanium bits, some uh, some billet, little assortment of parts that you make. Everything's pretty much done under this roof. Titanium is not easy to weld. You could see it's it's gorgeous. This manifold, <laughs> you could see they're like boat anchors. You're never gonna yeah. break that. It's got, you know, our billet collectors. It's a beaut. She's nice. We got this big box behind us, but I gotta ask you, what is your favorite tool or what do you find yourself more commonly using? The clutchless ratchet. It doesn't have any teeth, it just moves. So like if you're in a tight area, every degree, yeah. you know, gets it. So I love, this is probably my favorite ratchet that's of all cool. time. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, like you said, just that tight tolerance. That's my favorite one, definitely. You're putting in work, man. This is a true workshop. You know, the cars look good. Like I said, that one looks good standing still, but you have a dyno room as well. We do. Right, can we fire one yep, up? Yeah, let's go. All right. Antonio, we're in the dyno room. This is where you really see the numbers don't lie. Make it, break it here. Right. It, it, it's either gonna have a good life or, or break, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, and what are we looking at here? What's the horsepower numbers? Well, this car is a CM1800. It put down 1,841 wheel. It runs on three different fuels, pump gas, ethanol flex fuel, uh, VP import. One of the packages that we have, it's just a CM1800. <laughs> it's, it's nothing crazy above that, but it's... Uh, nothing I mean, crazy about 1,800 horsepower. Yeah, nothing I hate to say. It's, it's probably like a, a 216, 217 car in the half mile. The owner put a good set of tires on it to go to the track, like, you know, a set of 17s yeah. with non bias pilot, like a slick. It'll probably click off with a low eight second pass with a good driver. Awesome. Well, you built some amazing machines, seeing the progression, you know, snap-on tools, helping you along the way. You, you got an awesome shot. Man. Thank you. Really I appreciate it. No, thank you for opening the doors, but actions speak louder than words, or you're not going to hear any words because this thing's <laughs> going to be loud. But you said it's, it's pretty mellow, surprisingly. Uh, and this room is going to be loud. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's get loud. Thank so, you so much cool. for your time. Not a problem. Yeah. yeah. As you can see, they built some serious machines here at Calvo Motorsports. Be sure to comment below on which is your favorite generation Viper and what's your favorite power adder. And as always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for all things Snap-on Tools.